Coming in with a 484 year I try to get that down a bit. That is looped into right field for a base hit. Great piece of hitting there by Barnes. Adding, I think, around 230 as a team. As he gets cut down looking for strike number three, that'll be out number two. Great execution there by Nichols. He gets behind two and one, but comes right back. Pitch comes in. As he hits that, loops it to center for a base hit. That'll make runners on first and second. He looks to get a run in. As he hits that, deep to left. That'll be over the left fielder's head. Two runners are looking to score here. Oh, just one as the uh, man on third decides to hold up as the pitch comes in. And that is a hit and run, but it's that'll actually get down at the center center fielder. That'll make runners on the corners. Having a, a run here for Keen as a bit of a pickle here. And oh, oh wow. my goodness, great baseball right there. As Ian comes in. Uh, to score, and here's the pitch. Cut down looking for out number two. Great job there by Nichols to battle right back for every inning. As he's also down looking, a lot of, all of his strikeouts I think have been looking. He's for him and beyond. Yeah, especially against these two batters. As Chatfield hits that deep, and that is a home run. First pitch, home run. And that will make it four to nothing. Uh, Keen State, so you, uh, you would imagine that left on left, uh, you know, match would have been in favor for Plymouth, but it seems like Chatfield just saw that pitch and he absolutely rocked it. Here, so. They're getting late. As that is the half swing that just so happens to be fair. Throw in the first for the third out. Another quick inning for Nichols on the Owls Media Network alive. As he hits that through for a base hit. Do this time. So yeah, I mean it worked the first time. As that is hit down the third base line fair. That will get two in. As Tommy Ayler will cruise into second. And that is exactly what Keen State was looking for. Coach Flood got to be happy with that result there. Yep. Oh, 2 count. Here's the pitch. Soft grounder. Let's we'll see if he can beat it out. And he, that will get by him, which will score a run. Barnes will make it all the way to second. Keen State with the lucky break there. That'll make it 7 nothing. Owls. As Nichols throws. Cut on and missed. He will be struck out. As as he hits that, that will get down past the center fielder for at least a triple as they send Josh home. That will make it eight to two. Yeah, just what the doctor ordered there for Keene State. Here's the pitch. As that is going to get down for a base hit. Scoring is Ian and Barrett. Pitch hit. Well, I guess not a pinch hit, but his first hit, or at bat of the day, is a hit. Looks at this pitch and hits it. That will get past the left fielder, scoring is Barrett. As he will get a double. That'll make it 10-2. to two. Owls in the top of the eighth. Yeah, McHugh and Barrett just trading places right there. Another, another great hit by Evan McHugh and... I was just wearing out left field today. They've had a lot of RBIs down that way. As he lines that, which will get down, they will send him home. Not in time as the throw comes in soft and late. That will make it 11 to two. Keen State. And the pitch. Strike three looking. That'll be uh, Strikeout number five on the day for Nichols. Once more by Nichols, here we go. As that's cut on and missed, Curtis not happy with that strikeout. That'll be six Ks on the day for Nichols. Right now, you're just preaching a clean inning. As Beyond hits that, and that will be a base hit to right field. 
That'll make him two for five on the day. As he hits that, fair, the third baseman cannot come up with the ball as Ian will get on. Yeah, lengthy at bat, Conley just didn't win it in the end. As that's hit, fair, past the right fielder, that'll get two in. As Daft will roll in the second. What a good at bat for Daft there, as that will make it 13 to three. This ball on the play here. Pilardi's looking to put it away. We'll see what happens. As Pilardi strikes him out, and that will be the game for Keene State. Pretty dominant performance, 13 to four today, as they really improved upon what Coach Blood wanted them to in their last outing. In the air to right. The right fielder battling the sun. It's going to be over his head. Ehlers rounding second. He wants three. Nope, he's going to hold up. But that'll be a leadoff double for Tommy Ehlers. The 18 so far this season. Now with three home runs. And that's in the air to right field. That is going to split the gap. I was just about to say his RBIs, and he just added another one to his total. In from third comes Ehlers, and Jonathan Chatfield makes it one nothing Owls here very early in the top of the first. Their second infielding in the LEC. Popped up again. Under it is Cowley. He's looking for it. He's got it. And that is a four-pitch first inning for Jake Yockham. Oh. How about that? The Owls will head to the second with a one nothing lead on the Owls Media Network. Comes that 1-1. One, one. On the ground to the second baseman. He'll tap the bag one on to first. Not in time as the run comes in to score from third. So that'll be an RBI on the fielder's choice for Tommy Ehlers. It's 2-0 Owls. Lease is just so hard to And it looks like hitter. he went around. He did. That is a strikeout first of the afternoon for Jake Yakum. He gets Healy on just three pitches. Occasionally, but the Owls have since woken up since then. 0-2, oh, cut on and missed. Ball gets away from Cowley, he'll have to throw to first. In time to complete the strikeout, and Jake Yakum works out of trouble in the bottom of the second. Owls still leading 2-0. Hudson is 0-1, for 1. struck out in his first at bat. The 1-1, in the air to left field. It's gonna get down, and Hudson will dig for second. Throw's going to be close. Uh, it's a little offline. Hudson sliding in safely. He's got a one-out double. Eight slider. Cuts him inside. Runner goes. That's lined. It's going to be caught by Ehlers. Chance for a double play. Throw back to first to be on. They will double him up. How about that? As I was saying, they want to get it on the ground. Sometimes you don't eat here. Knowing that the fastball is coming. In the air to left. Under it is... Suma, nope, that's going to drop right in front of him for a leadoff single for Wyatt Daff. So the catcher, 0 for 1, struck out his first time up. And that one's hit hard to second, could be two. Barnes to McHugh for one, on to first for two. Big double play, and once again, quick two outs for Jake Yockham. He got a double play on the fly ball to Ehlers last inning, and struck out two, and it's around 30. Eight pitches now Whoa. as he gets him swinging. How about that? The movement <laughs> on that slider. That lefty-lefty advantage for the pitcher is just something different. It's one and one. On the ground. Through the hole for a base hit. So Tommy Ehlers is aboard. No Rounds surprise Rounds one there. through the third <laughs> baseman and shortstop. And Owls trying to get something going here. Plymouth. Oh, one. He's going to bunt. Whoa. That's going to stay Fair? That, wow. Oh my goodness. That stays fair. Perfect. Hamilton Barnes with an RBI bunt single on a keen shortstop. 2 1. Lined. Off the glove of the shortstop, he will not have time Ooh. to regather and throw. So Curtis almost had that. Yeah, in the gaps in the field. Trying to get this one on the. On the ground to third. Chatfield has it to second one. On to first for two. That's the Whoa. end. Oh. Yakum. Magic work Great for Jake Yakum to get out of trouble there. <laughs> he had a lot of time to regroup. Full count. Line. Base hit. Through the right side. Chatfield rounding third. He will score. 
As the throw comes into first, it's an RBI single for Josh Peon, and the Owls lead it 4 nothing. I mean, you're going to have to go through this guy. <laughs> I mean, in the air to center. Taylor's <laughs> coming in. He will make the catch, and that is the end of the inning. Jake Yockham, eight scoreless today. Another great outing as we'll head to the top of the ninth. Inning when a, you got a ball running in like that, tough to hit. Oh, one going again is Daft. Throw to second. No, they got him in a rundown. Now they're going to try to get the runner. Oh, be saved. They did it again. They did it again. And, and the runner advances yeah, to second. Down to second anyway, goes Daft. Here it is. Lined into left field, a base hit. Tommy Ehlers comes through with another RBI, and it's six to nothing. Keen State in game two. Did give him the fastball, but Ehlers is right on top of it, including he's under 80 pitches still. Two two. Rung him up for strike three, and that's <laughs> out number one. <laughs> he has not lost anything fourth, in fourth the tank. Fourth of the day for Jake Yaka, bottom of the ninth. Here's the one two. In the air to right, but Eaton's camped under it. He will make the catch two away. 41 at bats. And one out away is Jake Yockham from another complete game shutout. First pitch. In the air to the right. Under it is Eaton. Calling for it. Makes the catch. Jake Yockham has done it again. Back to back games. Complete game shutouts for Jake Yockum. The Owls take this one 6-0, and they also sweep the Plymouth State Panthers in the doubleheader.